intuitive eating has been around. It's, I mean, it's kind of one of those things. If we think about it, it's kind of how little kids eat, you know, they, they, they come in after playing when they're hungry, they eat. And then when they're full, they kind of leave and go off and do whatever they they're going to do. It's, it's kind of this getting back to ourselves kind of eating. And it's been around, um, you know, in terms of the formal uh, principles and things like that. Uh, since 95, there was um, the intuitive eating book was uh, published by Evelyn and Elise, uh, both registered dietitians and a lot of other uh, credentials as well. And it seems to be getting more, I don't know if it's more popular, but it definitely is something if you look at up at intuitive eating, um, there's 1.6 billion views on TikTok for those who are on TikTok. There's um, 2.1 million posts on Instagram. So it is, it is like a buzzword. It is something that's maybe trending now. Um, and, it, but it has been around for a while. There are more than 125 published studies showing its benefits, which is something that really impressed me and got me really excited about it to see that there are benefits of it. And they've, um, it, they have this evidence um, based approach. And like I said, it's kind of a way of eating that helps you get back to yourself and what works best for your body. And then, you know, the question came up, my daughter actually asked me this question. Um, she said, you know, when you're posting on Instagram, like, who are you posting for? Like, well, who's your audience? And, you know, is intuitive eating for everyone? And, you know, I think, I think the authors would say, well, the authors did say kind of this, this in a nutshell, but I mean, yes and no, yes. And maybe, um, if you're somebody, and I'll talk about the maybe column first. So if you're someone who's you know, under body weight or having issues with bulimia, um, excessively exercising, or have been admitted to, you know, an eating disorder facility, then intuitive eating, it may not be your time right now to incorporate something like this. There may be some other underlying medical issues that you would need to address before, before your brain would feel like ready to um, take in this information and try these principles. Um, and then on the yes column, it's for people who, you know, maybe longtime dieters looking for relief from the constant like yeah, calorie counting or, you know, the kind of the, the rules we've been taught for our whole lives. Um, people that believe in only clean eating, because sometimes that can and that can kind of sometimes go into eating disorder land. So it's something um, to consider. It may be a yes, it may be a maybe. Um, mild body rumination. So just maybe thinking about your body image a lot more than, more than other people or a love and hate relationship with the scale. So, and, um, yeah, I'll talk about that a little bit more as we get into the principles, but, um, in terms of eating disorders, you know, they are serious medical conditions and I've listed a, a resource there. If you or someone, you know, needs some help with that. Um, 